a lot of you guys I can tell are dealing with lackluster, low level women. Yeah. You know, who are, and some of these women have the potential to be great. Don't get me wrong. Everybody has potential to do great and change and whatever. Everybody has potential. But I'm saying that a lot of you guys are clearly around like really some of these uh, ones that just don't have mm -hmm. any, don't bring anything right. to the table. But since you attract who you are, that means that, you are that. That too. means you're that too. Just to, just to see black people talk so low is like disheartening. We, we were at the store and um, we were waiting for our Uber and this lady was driving to get into her parking space. It was a black lady with kids in her car and everything. And she had a bumper sticker. The bumper sticker said, um, we are the 99%. I mean, y'all, I'm not, look, I'm not insisting everyone needs to be a millionaire. I'm not talking about that. I'm not even talking about money right now. But you don't even I'm talking to... about the association with the, the feeling of lack to have that bumper sticker, mm -hmm. bright red, on the back of your car. I'm part of the community of people that the 1% take from. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's, like, you, what? you know, you can, you, you can think however you want to think about life. You know what I mean? You can walk around and you can say negative things all day or you can yeah. say positive things all day. You are what you what you think about yeah. all day. And that will happen. You know just I mean? like and that. Most, of, most men and women are not doing anything but thinking about issues yeah. and problems. And they look for problems to talk about. Mm -hmm. And they want to be mad. There are some men that comment. I can tell that you guys just want to be mad at women. You don't even, you don't even, you're not <laughs> trying to understand women. You just are in your feelings and you just, you act like you, like you act like you're the only one that's ever been hurt in your life. Right. You act like you're the only person that's gotten divorced. Feel sorry life. for me. You act like men don't ever hurt women. It's amazing. It's amazing how many people yeah. really live in a, in a place of everyone's out to get me. Out of all of those, you know, out of all of those men that commented on that video, there was no, there was only one man. This is the sad part, and this shows you how we are low vibrating people. There was only one man out of there that came back, heard me out. We had a little talk in the in the the, the comment section. Heard me out. I heard him out. So we always listen, and he came back and he said, "You know, I don't. I, I'm not sure. I totally, uh, you know, agree." with everything that you're saying, which is fine. I'm, I'm not, we're not here to everybody agree with us. But he said, it's important for me to listen, to be able to be open-minded enough to listen to women. We just gotta, we have to think broader, bigger, more, just more. Yeah. We have to just think more. We can't, we have to stop jumping to the divorce. The courts are messing us up. The, you know, we have our feelings on divorce, by the way, and the divorce law, laws are very slanted um, and mm -hmm. uh, messed up. I mean, personally, I think if you're a woman that makes six figures, then you shouldn't get out of them. I'm not sure why you get out of I don't get it. If you're if you're don't making if you're a housewife, I do. I get it. But yeah, if you're because, because you because your husband is asking you to be a house take care of him. So it means you're out of work. So then it means you're right. But if you're a woman that's making money, I don't understand why you really need alimony. I don't get that either. Maybe child support, but I really don't get why you need um, alimony. So I do get that. But why do you jump to divorce? But why do you jump to divorce? Yeah, like why? Why is it that we can't have just conversation about relationship without talking about all the other stuff? We know that relationships go sour sometimes. It's like okay, we we get that. But maybe if we just think more positive, this would be limited. We would limit this. It is just incredibly disheartening and a little bit concerning that black men do not want their women to push them to be great. That's no. weird to me because I don't know any other way. I don't care if you made yeah. under six figures or not. If Does it wife, matter? If your wife is not pushing you, to, yes, to be more, to give, to 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 nurture your passion in life, then she's really not doing much for you. That's or her job, for, or for the marriage. Yeah, I feel like a lot of men that are that you know we're seeing here, you know, commenting here. A lot of you guys I can tell are dealing with lackluster, low-level women. Yeah, you know who are, and some of these women have the potential to be great. Don't get me wrong; everybody has potential to do great and change and. Whatever. Everybody has pictures. But I'm saying that a lot of you guys are clearly around like 
really some of these uh, ones that just don't have mm -hmm. any don't bring anything right to the table but since you attract who you are that means you're that that too. means you're that too you know what i'm saying you attract who you are so if you date low lives you are one too yeah and i know that if that's a hard you know there was, there was this thing this guy said that everybody that i forget who it was but it's a quote. He says, "Everybody, everybody in the world is self-made, but only the rich will um, admit to it." Yeah, right. Exactly. Only the wealthy will admit it. It's true, because what happens with people who aren't wealthy is they mm -hmm. blame it on everybody. Yeah. You know sure. what I mean? I see way too many men that come in this hotel that complain about not having because I talk to them. Mm -hmm. Complain about not having money, but they have. All the yeah. alcohol bottles that you can buy from the liquor store, and they the, had room for a. Or they had money for a room. Yeah. And they have a woman coming in there. So I say to, to that man, okay, but you're about to get drunk. You you're about to smoke money. marijuana. Yeah. You are saying you don't have much money, but you have room for a hotel. And you're about to sleep with a woman. And if she gets pregnant. Then you should. There we yeah, go. I'm, I'm sorry to have to uh, bring this to you, but there is something that could happen and be, you know, after yeah. sex besides your orgasm. Right. Anything else could happen. And people just don't think. They don't think before they do. And then yeah. they create a life that is hard and impossible. And they make things harder than they're supposed to be just by everyday decisions. Mm -hmm. Small decisions. You know what I'm saying? But just like I was saying with that guy. Do you really, if you don't have any money, why are you here? Mm -hmm. Go home. Invest that money Invest in something, in something else. else. But you know why you're with a low grade woman right now? That's all it is. Who's okay with going to a hotel room with you and drinking and smoking mm -hmm. and all of that. And then what, you know, you guys are both losers. Yeah. You know, we said this once before in our video because long time ago when we were dating losers. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. I, that was a long time ago, many, many years ago. But Any when we were days? dating, when we used to be in relationships with losers and stuff like that, um, we said on the video... You know, well, in essence, that will kind of make it's us me a loser. And right. so somebody, it really was a woman, mm -hmm. or maybe it was a guy. I don't no, know. It was a guy. Yeah, a guy. He said, he said, well, it doesn't really make you a loser. It's just that, the, you know, he was trying to, he was trying to, um, I guess, have our back a little mm -hmm. bit on it. And I was like, no, sir. No. No, no sir. We chose to be mm -hmm. with losers. So losers hang out with losers. Winners hang out with winners. So if we're hanging out with a loser, what does that make us? We thought low vibrating. And now we think higher and we expect higher of men. We want to give you guys the positive energy of strength, prosperity, financial and otherwise. Mm -hmm. We want to give you all of that energy. Every black man out there in the world that's anybody's watching us yeah, right I'm now. I'm going to date you to do this. I'm going to date you to do this. And any black man that's listening to watching this right now, black people in general, but specifically right now, black men, we want you to have vibes of strength and prosperity financial spiritual mental emotional we're giving you that vibe we are not going to view you as weak and we're not going to give you weak energy no and because we're not giving you weak energy we are expecting you to succeed and be successful mm -hmm. and be ambitious and prosper and get all the money that you want Right. And when you meet a woman and she is not wanting you to get to that level, all of those, you can't have some without another. It can't just be money. It has to be a lot of stuff. That she's not she's not worthy. Right. She's not worthy. It's only the woman. Gold diggers only want your money. They're, 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 that's yeah, it. They just want bullshit. your money. They don't care how you get it. <laughs> right. They don't care if you're a drug dealer. They don't, they don't care. care how you get it. Yeah. They only care about money. But when a woman actually wants you to thrive in life. What she's doing is not only enriching you, she's enriching herself Self, because yes. you guys will be living together. Right. It's not, a woman yeah. that's on a certain level mentally can't be with a man who's average minded because every day you're together, you will be, you will, you will, you will feel resentment because you're not living on her level. Right. And she will feel resentment for you because you're not exceeding. Yeah. You date it. Like, again, I don't have any time to say it. you date who you are, where you, where you are vibrationally. If you're a person that thinks big, you're going to, you're only going to marry someone who also thinks big. People, they get married all the time because we get a lot of people, oh, you know, they've been divorced and now they're bitter. Well, you know what? A lot of people's right. marriages are not, um, you know, aren't, you know, blessed by God. Right. Sometimes people marry their issues at the time.
Mm -hmm. And then someone grows out of the issues and the marriage is over, over because yeah. the real person Shows emerges up. through the marriage. It should have happened before the marriage, but since we were both broken mm -hmm. and didn't realize it, yeah. then, you know, a divorce happens. You know, so and then you, I always yeah. invite people to, okay, you, you were married once it didn't work out. Don't relive that. Don't yeah. become a victim to that. Yeah. Which is what now they do. take what you've learned and meet someone else because we're not meant to die alone. Yeah. We're not. People are meant to be with each other. Mm -hmm. That is what you are meant to do. We are meant to be together. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to die rich and by themselves. Right. Nobody. And nobody wants to marry someone who doesn't really love them. You want to be with someone who enriches you in all parts of your mm -hmm. life. Yeah. And you should want that. And you should want a woman who's come in and has a financial mind. And wants to see both of you succeed. Become something bigger. Especially in the black community. Because black people, you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, I hear a lot of people talk about reparations all the time. I'm like, please, the way you guys voted for Biden without any pause lets me understand reparations aren't coming yeah. anytime soon. And secondly, there are many black people, besides these celebrities that we like to throw out, there are lawyers and doctors, doctors and contractors yeah. and landscapers that are, that are black and really well, wealthy yeah. that we don't ever really talk about. You know what they I mean? Need and they didn't need reparations to get there. <laughs> right. What they need is to think bigger. Yeah. And right. then to yeah. actively do that. That's what I say, women. Let these don't be trying to make kids with men. Let these men go off and be prosperous. Yeah. Let them be on their grind. Let them be on their purpose mm -hmm. before you go and make a child with them. Wait. Yeah. Wait Let him be somebody. Give him the space to do. Don't try to be his husband or don't try to be his wife before it's time. Too many people are making kids before they are ready. There are too many single mothers out here raising boys raising them into entitled men that think that women are supposed to be all things to them and they don't have to be anything that's a no and that's because yeah. they watch their mother do everything you know what i mean she didn't have to do it with a man and that that benefits you mm -hmm. it, men are beneficial in the home mm -hmm. so everybody's not out to get you it's just, <laughs> just you're just you're just living in a box yeah like you're, you're mental yeah it's like, like like you're living in a mental box and not understand women in that way and you know, or just be able to think broader, expand, expansion. You know, my mom, uh, we we were we were poor. Like we didn't have we money. That way, yeah. We we didn't have money growing up. You know, there were days where we had popcorn. Mm -hmm. There's some dinner pop. We had the potato week. <laughs> you know, what I mean, there was those days. So we didn't. We were not brought up with money. But my mom was hell bent on getting us out and getting so we can see my something mother, different. Yeah, our mother refused to go on welfare. So. She would never, we would, we would, you know, sometimes like Daniel said, have popcorn and potatoes. But my mother, at that time, I realized that my mother was trying to show me something more about out life. There. You know what I mean? She always took us to the ballet. She always tried to do things to broaden us. She uh, moved us into a better neighborhood. We didn't have furniture. Yeah. We lived in a good, really nice area that was mixed, you know, race of people. But it was a very nice um, area, you know. And so with our mom, she always showed us. In her way, because my mother was a young single mother, she was in her way showed yeah. us how to be bigger. Yeah, you know, she she, she taught us things like elegance. She and, sent us to New York City. Yeah, she helped. Us. Yeah, see, exactly. my mom was the reason why Danielle and I moved to New York City. It, it changed me because I, you know, I mean, we were around people who thought bigger. bigger. So when we got to New York, it awarded us. It, New York was more than just being in New York. It was like it awarded us the opportunity to be around people and to think, who big. think huge, mm -hmm. not just big, but like. Huge. These people think big. People in cities like that and people who travel mm -hmm. in general all around and, and choose to live in different places. It's like it, it allowed it awards the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. And it makes you realize the bigness of the world. Yeah. Like there's so much out there, so much money to be made, mm -hmm. so much things to experience. And I think that when you're not financially sound, you get lost and trapped mm -hmm. in this um, feel sorry for me mode yeah. because you feel like a victim and you feel right. like nobody cares. And guess what? No one does care. No one cares. The only person that's going to care about mm -hmm. you is you. And any woman that, that dates a man and he doesn't have any goals. That's a problem. That is a problem with that woman. And you are going to make children who are also going to be trapped in that, in, that, in that mindset. I'm around people all day that all they want to talk about is someone's mother got shot or someone's mm -hmm. father got shot. And, and I'm, I don't feel good today. Mm -hmm. and that's all they want to talk about. And it's just like, and I don't think these are bad people. These They're aren't not. bad people. It's just that they don't They're have stuck. anything else to talk about but issues. It's like a, it's like a mental. It's like it, like when Bob Marley says, "Emancipate yourself from, from mental, mental slavery." slavery. Yeah, it, th that is just like <laughs> that is encompasses what what we're saying. Like you're gonna have to release the mental slavery. Mm -hmm. You have to understand 
that there are people out there in this circumstance, it's women. There are women like us out there that expect you to do well. And we are going to push and we'll still do it mm -hmm. no matter what you write, <laughs> because we believe that we want to see black men be, ha, be a force to be reckoned with. That yeah. is what we are trying to right. get out there, you know, and but we want black people to be that way. And my mother gave us a gift. My mom, I always say to myself, my mom was a young mother who she was a teenage, she was she, mom. you know, her, my father walked away, never came back. Yep. My mother never was on welfare. She uh, always paid everything out of pocket. Mm -hmm. There was never, there was no food stamps or anything like that. She had two daughters who were the same, around the same age. They had the same right. thing. She was eight expensive. Before 20 years old, she had two children by herself. And she did. And you know, when I look back at it, I think, how did she do it? <laughs> because I know, I remember I was mm -hmm. raised in that. You know what I mean? And my mother always tried to give us the best. She always tried to give us the, and she gave us what she could give us in her 20 year old mind. She tried to expand our, our minds with whatever it is mm -hmm. that she had. And I'd be damned if I'm going to marry a man being given that gift and know mm -hmm. what my mother had to go through to raise me yeah. and then be a baby mama. No. Or is there some guy who isn't going to do anything or take me and any child I have with him to the moon. We're not supposed to stay the same. We're supposed to do mm -hmm. better. We're supposed mm -hmm. to want better. You're, you're supposed to want to work mm -hmm. hard on yourself. I work hard on myself. And Look, I'm not going to date a guy yeah. who doesn't do that. That's, that's, the, so, that's the esteem I have for myself. You don't become rich in your here, mm -hmm. in your wallet, in your bank account, unless you get rich here. Yeah. And until you get rich here, everything else you're saying is just stuff to it's say. stuff to say. You're not saying nothing. You're saying a whole lot of nothing. And, you know, it's time for the, it's time, I'm looking, and this is for women. It's time for women to stop sleeping with men who aren't going anywhere. Sorry. Yeah, it's called sexual discipline. Yeah. And discipline is your friend, people. Yeah. Discipline keeps you from being overweight. Discipline gets you, gets you to the highest points of the financial world. Discipline, mm -hmm. you know, in, with sex keeps you mm -hmm. from being a parent when you don't want to be. Mm -hmm. Discipline, sexually, keeps you from having a disease you didn't mean to have. Yeah. We always want to talk about kids. We don't understand that you can have a disease too, right. which can also erase you from anybody who want to be with you. What did Reverend Ike say? He said, he said, some people are fascinated with poverty. Yeah. They're fascinated Fasc with bills. They're fascinated with, with um, crime. Mm -hmm. And that's all they want to talk about and be about. Get fascinated with wealth. Get yeah. fascinated with health. Yeah. Get fascinated with broadening your, your horizon and learning something mm -hmm. new. Get fascinated with something other than what makes you miserable. Guys think gotta, think, gotta think bigger. We have we have to get past this, you know. And the the comments, you know, from that video, I'm, we're basing a lot of this off of that that particular video, mm -hmm. which again I'll link above me when you see it. But the reason why is because it really opened our eyes to see men who are thinking more me mediocre. You yeah. know what I mean? Like we refuse to watch a black man not be great. I mean, some guy said. Um, some guy said, a man, a man can meet a woman that has nothing and then, uh, and he will love all, he'll love her. And then a woman can meet a guy that has, um, nothing and then she won't love him. Right. We're different. We're different. Yeah. We are not yeah. the same. We are to stop yeah. thinking that that's the problem. That's your biggest problem right there is that you just, some of you guys, I don't understand why you don't like feminists. I don't get Cause it you either. sound like feminists. You do. You sound really like feminists. Women and men are not the same. We're not wired the same. Yeah. We are, we are not physically the same. We are not mentally the same. We're, we don't even, we're not even emotionally the same. The two puzzle pieces that come together, yeah. two puzzle pieces that are exactly the same don't fit. You have to yeah. be different in right. order to fit. Right. That's, that is the answer, sir. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. How many, you know, if you keep hearing that, you know why you keep hearing that? Because that is how <laughs> women are. Because women are different. Men but, are different too. And it's good. It's okay. It's not a bad thing. But when you hear someone talk, when you hear a woman talk about money, it is like the, I have, it's an explosion of emotion with you guys. And that's a red flag. When a man gets that emotional about that, that that's a lot. I mean, the one thing Kevin Samuels did do when he got on that guy, he got on the guy about, oh, yeah. about and he was all like, you know, you don't need to date any woman. You need right. to get a job. You need to get yourself together because no woman worth her grain of salt is going to date a man that, that's a good woman. It's going to want a man that's not doing anything with his life. You know, you got to get yourself together. Yeah, a lot of you guys are hung up on Kevin Samuels. We need to listen to some of the stuff he's he actually saying. saying. Women are different. We're not We're different. the same. We're different. We require different things. We both require to be loved and cared for, but in different ways. Right.
Women don't want the same thing men want, and women don't want the same thing men want. We do want to be valued, right? Just in different ways, and so stop trying to sound. You sound like a you sound like a modern woman. Yeah. How some of you guys talk in these comments. If you want to be the man, then you got to right. be the man. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm not saying between your legs. That's not it. That's just what Farrakhan said. That's just that's academic. Anybody can do. Yeah. Any man can do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's just like, but if you want to be the man, you got to be the man, which means that you got to bring it mm -hmm. financially, bring it emotionally and bring it mentally mm -hmm. and spiritually. We just want men to prosper and be mm -hmm. great. That's all. We yeah. want black men, particularly, specifically because we need it for you guys to be great. Feel like the leader in all areas. Right. And if and that includes finances, too. You know, and be leader in all areas that way that you are a force to be reckoned with in this world. And we're going to push men to do that. And we will continue with that. Mm -hmm. So we believe. We and I'm believe. not going to ever do a video going forward. Understand this. I'm never going. I'm, I'm always going to support men that make under six figures because I don't think being rude. We have a video is, on it. You, it. That doesn't help at all. Yeah. I think men can be whatever they want to be. But I'm never going to say being mediocre is enough. Not a thing. I'm not going to do that. Tell us what you think, you guys. Leave a comment below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our content, if you are interested in the topics that we bring up. Um, yeah, let, let us know. Let us know. All right. Everybody have a good day. Bye.